Hello, hello, it's Madri and welcome to Red Ember's Reacts. So the Luna comeback is coming out tomorrow and I can't wait. I've actually been in orbit for three years now, ever since Butterfly Era. And now that I have this brand new reaction channel, of course I'm going to include Luna. So today we're going to be checking out the trailer for Luna the Journey. And, uh, well, since part of what hooked me into Luna is the Lunaverse, we will be combing through that video, uh, you know, for more lore and see if, well, see what, what's new in the Lunaverse. Cause now I think Luna has created their new world and the fact that it's titled The Journey, I think they're going to be exploring that new world. So let's see what's in store for us. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's pull up the video. So I will watch the trailer uh, once through and then we will go back over, uh, over it bit by bit. Let's, let's start. Luna the Journey. Okay. Trying to catch points of interest here. Hmm. Okay. I'm seeing some stuff. Oh, wait. Huh. I spotted that. Okay, 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 okay. First things first. Let's start with... Oh, I'm using the wrong tool. This thing. The intro logo. The colors. The colors are different. That's that's interesting. What? Okay. I believe since the title of their comeback is flip that, these are their flipped colors. Like this is the opposite on the color wheel from Hyunjin's color. Then we have Hyunjin, Hasul. Yojin, Vivi. Oh, if you flip, oh, Vivi is light pink enough that if you flip it, it's gonna be sort of black. Okay. Then Kim Lip, Jin Sol, Cherry, Eve. Ooh, interesting. Chu, Go Won. Huh. That's the flip color of Go On. And Olivia. Now, Olivia's looks the same. But one thing I think it's still flip because this uh, silver like color, even though it's also still Olivia's official color, I believe they use this shade. It's a shade. They use this shade on a black background. And when we have a white background, we use the darker one, uh, uh, the black one. So now that we have a white background and then this silver shade, Olivia is also flipped. And also the slash, the slash on Luna, I believe is, Eden green, maybe. I'm, I can't tell if it's green or Eden green. It's probably Eden green. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Okay, so we have this is 
I believe it's an interior of the train. And then there is something on the seat here. I I, I saw it at the end of the trailer earlier. We'll probably get a better look at it then. I'm not sure if that's... It looks like something with a... Either a stick or a white stock. Um, it was too fast for me to identify it earlier. I just noticed that there was something on the seat. And then we have a clock here in the back. So that's like two minutes to... It's daytime, so it's noon. Like, you know, uh, Luna previously had a midnight album, right? So we're flipping midnight and it's now almost noon. And then this scene sort of reminds me of true scene in Paint the Town, you know, where she's surrounded by uh, plants and flowers. Although the flowers here are all the same color. They're all purple. I'm not sure if that relates to Chwery or did anyone have a flip purple color? I'm not quite so sure. True! Actually true! It's sort of... Let, let's go back to that, shall we? Ah uh, no, true is more navy. This one... Yojin? Is that the same shade as the Odrin's? No one's like full on purple. Might be. Okay, I, I believe that's all that we can get from this part. And then... Next portion. I have no idea what this is signifying, to be honest. Um, maybe it's a reference to Hyunjin's part in Paint the Town, where the cloths are all over the place? Or, I, I'm not so sure. Also, I see a pink thing here on one of the poles. I also don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. It's rectangular or I don't know. Maybe we'll see another shot of it in the actual music video. This one is just like a pathway with flowers on the side. Um not sure what the flowers signify. I'm not, you know, up no, I haven't brushed up on any like, Flowers and their meanings, what they represent, and you know, the colors of it all. So, hopefully, uh, we'll learn more about that in the future. Now, this scene the obvious one, of course, is the orange door. It might be a reference to Yojin. No one had flipped orange, right? So I think this is just Yojin's regular color. And of course, in Paint the Town, Yojin was also in like a a green forest type place. And the way they shot her for uh, uh, in the last part of Paint the Town was that she's kind of like behind something. Like a... Uh, um, like a blurred transparent wall. And so Yojin might have, you know, well, Yojin was lost in the forest during the pre debut of Luna. What if she's gotten herself into another forest again? <laughs> this might be a door leading to Yojin. Also, I have no idea what this pink thing is here in the side. 
I, I can't even begin to guess what the, what that's all about. But I see there's a, a metallic lamppost here on the left. So I uh, there's yeah the metallic pole. There's a lamp on the top and probably was like an electric control box sticking to it, which is kind of weird being in a forest. So that might have some significance. It's kind of giving me Narnia vibes, to be honest. You know, when they first enter Narnia, it's the lamppost. Okay, more flowers. I don't know if these have meaning as well. Okay, this shot. There is something behind the flowers. I can't really see what it is. Hmm. It looks like stairs. Oh, wait, sorry, I went too far. It looks like stairs. And since it's bright pink, I assume Heejin is climbing it. Is this a reference to the hash one trailer from uh before so what when he just climbing up invisible steps into the sky i don't know okay there we go we see what's on the seat i just caught a glimpse of it earlier but now i can get a good look now that we have it freeze framed it is a lollipop, a purple lollipop. Also, um, I really need to see this. There's something here. Um, hmm. Wait a minute, sorry. Let's let's up the quality. There's something written under the clock. But I really need to zoom into that. Um, let's see. It's still blurred, even in 4K. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can barely read it. But I think what's on the clock here... Like, underneath, the first set of words... I, I can't read the ones in the bottom. But the first set of words says... Carol 2.0 which is like what we're six months away from Christmas maybe they also flip the seasons or, 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 or the Carol 2.0 like from what I remember of the Carol 2.0 that's that's Cherry Eve and Vivi right and it, is there even any lore in that? Why are they referencing it here? Hopefully we'll get a better shot of that. Like even in 4K, I, I can barely read it. And there's more underneath that I cannot read at all. So it's, that's the last scene, I believe, in the trailer. Okay, that's it. So the comeback is coming out tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I will be checking out the teasers 1 and 2 next. And uh, stay tuned for those videos. I'll be uploading them right after this. Well, I'll be recording them right after this and uploading them right after I upload this. 
So, yeah. Um, stay tuned for those. I, uh, we will also delve through teaser 1 and teaser 2 and see what uh, what other bits of lore we can pick up from that and what exactly does Luna have coming up next. Okay, so uh, if there's any extra information that m might be helpful or that I missed, please, please uh, share it in the comments down below. I would love, um, uh, I would really appreciate it if, uh, yeah, you guys have some extra insights or any hidden Easter eggs or references in that trailer. And yeah, let's let's discuss the Lunaverse, guys. And so, if you like the video, please uh, give it a like. And if you want to stay updated for future content, please click the subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification button. Until next time, have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.